Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. Today I'm sharing a video lesson from the mixed voice course that's inside of my membership site. My membership site is called Total Vocal Transformation and the goal of the membership site is to help you build your technique, finding freedom in your voice so that you can achieve whatever it is you want to do with your singing. So the February content is up, the course is mixed voice and the lesson I'm going to share with you from this course is all about the top three mistakes that people make when trying to sing in mixed voice. So I hope you enjoy and I did put together a very special seven day free trial for you. If you watch this video and you want the other seven lessons of this course, you can go over to singingwithlauren.com slash free trial and you can try out the membership site for a whole week, see if it's right for you. I hope to see you over there, but for now, enjoy the three mistakes that most people make when trying to sing in mixed voice. First big, big mistake, and I would say that this is probably the most common mistake that people make, is that they're trying to feel and make a bigger shift than is necessary. So when people try to do this, what happens is that they end up really grinding their sound and they end up really tiring themselves out right? Or they simply think that they can't find mix at all because they're trying too hard. <laughs> yes, in singing, there is definitely such a thing as trying too hard and it happens more often than not. Okay. So you can't try too hard for your mix. You have to really let it happen. And you, I think it's a allowing by thinking about it, but not a making right? We're not making it happen because a lot of times when we need to make something happen, we have, we think about having to be physically exerted or tired to do it. And that's not the case for mixed voice, right? It's that we're simply finding it. And when we find it, we just keep using our great support, our breath to sing through it, to really even out our entire range. So that's the first big mistake people make. The second mistake people make is they're trying to sing too much in their mix for too much of their range. And I find this to be more of a problem with my women than my men um, because I think that sometimes women actually don't want to use their chest voice as much or they don't have the, um, the feeling of chest voice isn't as comfortable for them so they end up kind of using mixed voice as more of a crutch than actually a needed um, small portion of our voice as they're going up and going back down, right? So for example, this would show itself like in this situation, you're starting in chest and you're, and you're singing a phrase that climbs through mix and then climbs into your head voice. And then as you come back down, instead of transitioning back mix and then to chest, you're transitioning down from head to mix and you just stay in mix the whole time. And I also find this problem frequently more with my tenors. Um, basses and baritones, you guys pretty much live with your live in your chest voice like 99% of the time. So I don't think it's as much of a problem for you, but for you guys with higher voices that you're, you really consider yourself a tenor, um, this could pose itself as an issue for you. So really make sure that you're only utilizing your mix when you need it and that that's, that that's coming back down into your chest voice. Because singing in mix for too long, especially with men, can have um, a more grindy, um, sometimes good rock sound, but usually um, the way that it's gone about, it doesn't sound great. It, it tends to sound more airy and not necessarily more rock-ish. So if you are trying to get that rock sound, maybe this is something you could play with, carrying down your mix. However, I think for most of you that are more interested in pop, um, pop, jazz, musical theater, any of the other folk, you guys are probably better off just retransitioning back into your chest. Right, and only you can tell yourself, you know, where it feels best to sing in chest and where it feels best to go into mix. 
So it's something that I want you guys to play around with and I want you to be really, um, really cognizant of like, okay, I'm singing in mix right now, even though it's not a huge change. I really want you to get in tune with what it feels like for you, men and women, to be singing in mix, okay? And then the last thing that a lot of people get wrong about mix is that it's the cure-all for airy, airiness. It, it does solve the kind of airiness that happens between the registers for those of you who aren't using mix, right? So I think a lot of you um, might have this problem where you're going, Ooh, right? Where you're just flipping. You're flipping the switch from 100% from chest to 100% head. And what happens is on those key couple notes that we need, need, need a mix, we're totally losing the grounding of your sound, right? Now, for the, that was an example for women. For men, same thing for you guys, right? If you're singing down here, you know, say I'm, I'm starting on an E3 and you're going, I can barely sing that note, but I'll sing it for you. And you're going directly into falsetto, we really miss out on those money mix notes. <laughs> you like that? Money mix um, that can be, you know, in that range of C, D, E before you actually have to sing in falsetto. Um, now, while that is true, right? While that is a cure for that, those, that really airy sound in, in that specific range, singing in mix is not a cure all. Right, if you feel like you're singing airy mo uh, too much of the time, no matter where you are in your voice, I want you guys to go to Starter Singing Lab and I want you to check out the phonation module. I also want you to go to, let's see, where is it? Well, definitely I want you to go to the ch uh, chest voice course and do that, the head voice course and do that. Um, and I, oh, I know what I was gonna say. I also want you to go to the finding strength module in Starter Singing Lab. So you have access to all of that stuff, you guys, and this is all gonna really help you if you feel like you're singing airy all the time, right? Because if you're singing airy all the time, just working on your mixed voice is probably not gonna solve that. If you feel like you're singing airy in the specific area of your voice in the transition, then working on your mixed voice is probably going to help you improve leaps and bounds. Okay, so I hope this video, these common mistakes help you guys. I know that you guys usually do like to hear this because you might not have been, you might not have been knowing you were making these mistakes, but now upon hearing them, you're like, oh yeah, I was definitely doing that. Okay, which is totally great. And that's why you're here. Okay, so in the next couple videos, they're gonna be pure exercises to help you strengthen your mixed voice. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to try out the membership site, Total Vocal Transformation for seven days for totally, totally free, go to singingwithlauren.com slash free trial. I have a seven day free trial waiting for you over there and you will be able to access not only this mixed voice course, but the entire library of courses. I hope to see you inside and thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.